This is a video on how to draw free body diagrams. And these are diagrams that show the relative magnitude and direction of all the forces acting on an object. And I'm going to have a look here at a special example. So let's have a look at the free body diagram of a sled on the snow with a horse pulling it. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a pictorial representation of the problem. So I'm going to draw on the ground and I'll draw the sled as a box on the ground. So here is my box and it's sitting on the ground. It's a very simple square resting on a flat surface. And now we're going to consider all of the different forces that are acting on it. And one of the first forces we're going to consider is gravity. And that's from the planet Earth. So I'll do that by center of mass of the object. And I'll represent that with FG. And that's the Earth pulls the box. In this case, it would be the carriage. And we know that um, FG is equal to mass times acceleration. And that's from Newton's second law. And g, due to gravity, is going to be equal to 9.8 meters per second per second. Now notice the force vector labeled fg points down. That's the direction it's heading. So a normal force is one that prevents objects from falling into whatever they're sitting upon. And it's always perpendicular to the surface. So in this case, the normal force is going to be this. It's the same length. And I'm going to represent that by fn. And it's perpendicular to the ground. Then a normal force is perpendicular, and for a body on a sloping surface, we're going to have a slightly different arrangement. So I can just move up here. I can have a sloping surface. I'll draw my box again. And I'm going to have my force due to gravity. But the normal force is going to be here. But in this case, we're going to look at a carried on the snow. So the next thing we're going to do is consider the frictional forces here, and that's the snow pushing the carriage. So I'll draw a small arrow over here, and that's the force due to friction. And it's in the opposite direction of the motion of the carriage, acting to slow it down. I'm not going to consider here the different types of friction. Now the next thing I need to have is the actual horse pulling the carriage. And that's going to be a bigger arrow this way. And that's the force of the horse. That is going to be the horse pulls the carriage. So I've got here the normal force, the force due to gravity, frictional force, and the horse pulling the box. And the sum of all these forces is going to be an arrow pointing this way. So I can say that the carriage is accelerating in this direction. Now there will be a tension here on the bar that's attaching the horse to the carriage. But consider this, it's a complete force diagram here. It's a diagram that shows me the carriage being pulled along the road on the snow. And I've kept it simple, avoiding drawing the horse, the driver and elements of the vehicle. I'm just showing you the carriage. And that is a free body diagram. Free because I've simplified it and I'm not showing the environment here. Just the things that are acting on the box, the carriage. Thank you.